I think it's going to be fun. I've kind of trained for the heat and I was hoping that it was going to be like 40, 42 degrees. Ready for the rain. This year is uh, like really my deadlines. I want to let myself in the roots and I enjoy the scenery and the people riding together and um, it's just grab a ride, ultra cycling events, so everything is perfect. Saya sangat bersemangat untuk ini, semoga teman-teman yang lain terinspirasi untuk datang kembali. Just yet, survive, get through it, wait, try and like set a good pace for myself that I know I can sustain. Like two years ago, it was super, super warm, right? 48 degrees, and I don't think we would have survived this. So. That bit just now, it's just, that was awesome. Most fun have to age on the gravel bike, that. Oh, 100% average. <laughs> <laughs> Only 600k to go? Yeah, we're really not good. making the distance. Not making the distance anymore. More elevation. <laughs> Dos años atrás ya pues me animé, dejaba la tienda, soy propietario aquí de la tienda, me tenía más horas abierto, animaba a la gente, le daba consejos y ya creo que era la hora de este año de dar un paso más e involucrar a todo mi pueblo entero, ¿vale? Para que disfrutara y darle ánimo a todos los raiders y hacer de esto una fiesta. but I'm feeling pretty good. 
good at this point. But I take a break, eat something, drink a beer. Still my holiday. Position doesn't, is not, is not the most important for me. Just want to have fun, you know. And it's so beautiful. I just want to have more time here, more time to soak in the scenery. First of all, a beer. puerto que había por allí por taberna 14 kilómetros 1100 positivos no, no sé. después de 350 kilómetros a ver si acabo si me deja la rodilla sí me duele good morning keep plugging away and you don't know how long you've got to climb for and you just keep going and going. I had a bit of a wobble um, where I nearly fell off my bike because I was falling asleep so I lay down, got my stuff out, lay down for half hour but it was at the worst possible time, it was at 2,000 meters so it was freezing. <laughs> but I mean it, it knocked the edge off it and then I managed to get here so hopefully after a bit of breakfast I'll feel a bit better.
Thanks, man. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Well, that actually wasn't so bad because it was, like, warm and decent. It's, like, the, uh... Yeah, the combination of, like, wet and cold That's yesterday true. and, like, yeah. it started so it's fast. Amazing. And then, uh... Yeah, and then just sort of... Just holding on, so... Yeah. Really happy that it's done. <laughs> I suffered from kilometer zero to <laughs> kilometer 750, <laughs> was telling myself, no. I'm not going to scratch. Like, it sounds really bad now, but, but it's <laughs> still it's been a good, good experience. <laughs> I'm just really happy. That was epic, holy moly. I literally did not know that I had that inside me. I just kept going and going and going. Ahora, no me lo esperaba tan tan revirado y tan duro cuando menos te lo esperas, eh. La plaquita hay que ganársela, eh. The first day was amazing. The second day was terrible. <laughs> Well, no, I like some of the stuff. I think once you start, you got down to the coast, and then you had to get back up from the Mountains, coast. Yeah. That was a bit. That was like three hours of climbing up a rock garden. 